Hi everyone, I'm Mike King from Profiling Evil. A few months ago, we looked into the Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell case. The focus of that earlier broadcast was on Maxwell and the grooming tactics that she had reportedly employed to assist Epstein in his criminal enterprise. Now, Maxwell remains in jail awaiting trial, but just a few hours ago, French police announced that they had arrested a prominent French modeling agent named Jean-Luc Brunel, a close friend of Epstein's. Now, he's being held on suspicion of rape, sexual assault, and human trafficking charges, according to French media reports. It's really interesting to me that Brunel was accused by United States prosecutors for the same thing that Maxwell is being held for, reportedly procuring young girls for Epstein. Now, you might recall that Epstein died in a New York prison last year while he was awaiting charges or awaiting trial on the charges he had. It's important to bring out the fact that Brunel is denying all of the charges brought against him. But Paris prosecutor's office today in The Guardian confirmed that Brunel is detained as part of an investigation into rapes, sexual assaults, the rape and sexual assault of a minor under the age of 15, the rape and sexual assault of a minor over the age of 15, sexual harassment, and the association with criminals and the trafficking and exploitation of minors. These are all huge charges. This four month long investigation looked into to those allegations, which mirror what we covered in the Glenn Maxwell case. So I hope you'll take a minute and go back and look at each of those um, things that we talked about in that case. Now, to help in that, here's a quick recap. And of course, we're putting links where you can reach out and see other things. But Brunel is suspected of doing very similar things as Maxwell, in effect, grooming Epstein's eventual victims. Now, the grooming occurred in a number of ways, such as providing lavish gifts and circumstances, offering large sums of money for short periods of work, things like having young girls give older men, Epstein, a 40 minute massage. The problem with that was that he would demand that they remove their clothing down to their underwear in order to perform this massage. And it always escalated from there. Now, groomers pretend to be somebody you can trust. Those who have fallen victim to their tactics remark that they simply dropped their guard for a moment. They reasoned that the person was just so charming. Uh, it makes you find yourself wondering, how is it that, that this great person is available? Well, keep in mind, there actually might be a reason why these people are acting this way. Groomers are experts at appearing sympathetic. Don't simply trust your new acquaintance too quickly, even if they're members of your church, your synagogue, or your mosque. Some predators will act like they are your protector during the grooming process. They'll say things like, hey, nobody understands and cares for you the way I do. They might out act outraged when bad things happen to you, or they might even promise to protect you if anything bad ever happens. Well, beware. You know, this knight in shining armor may not be the person that you think he is. So don't fall for these false flatteries. Protect your space. Groomers love to separate their victims from their safety net, people like family and friends. So carefully analyze your situation. If anyone you're dating or, or with suggests that you're better off relying only on them, if they suggest you disavow your friends and family ties, consider this a red flag. Now, if your friends caution you about certain behaviors they see in your new relationship, don't just get mad at them for not understanding you or your choices. Consider their warnings. Many victims of predatory grooming report that they ignored the advice of family and friends. So, and never, never allow yourself to be isolated from others. You know better than this. Predators are only interested in one thing, themselves. They hunger for power, dominion, and control. So in closing, I hope you'll learn to trust your gut. Let your feelings guide you in your decisions. The victims of people like Maxwell and, and Brunel never, never 
are, are the kind of people you can trust. They are predators who exploit weakness. They're susceptible to grooming tactics. We all are at the right time and in the right circumstance. You know, this could happen when you're struggling financially, you're fighting a drug addiction, or at a time when you really are facing homelessness, homelessness or personal loss. The secret to minimizing your chances of being victimized is to remind yourself of that age old counsel. If it feels too good to be true, it probably is. Well, I hope you found this Profiling Evil uh, Insight segment to be interesting. And if you did, please like it and share it. And don't forget to visit us at ProfilingEvil.com. If you do, take a moment and register for the latest news. And please remember that every community has a cadre of professionals standing by to ensure your safety. If you are being victimized by someone, please get to a safe place and call your local law enforcement agency, your physician, or your mental, mental health provider. So until we get together again, thanks and please be safe.